Right then, a lovely example of the uh, of the Rolls. Yeah, I think it's a very special car. It's got a speedometer reading of about 7,500 miles. Common sense looking round it suggests that could be right. If it's not right, it hasn't done many more, that's for sure. Um, unfortunately, the reason we're a little vague is that it's come from a deceased estate. Um, and there's a couple of vehicles that we've been asked to rehome. One is that, which is stunning, and the other is the Range Rover over there, Jack, which you won't know yet, but the Range Rover there that I've just covered the number plate up as well. The number plates are coming off both cars. The Range Rover there is like brand new, like absolutely brand new there. Mm. Um, and they run together, so I'd never be surprised if that's right. Now, you and I just had a look, look, little look around this, didn't we, this morning? Your granddad's been handling this uh, through the uh, through the estate. Um, and you questioned the mileage this morning. Mm. And then, what did I do? I opened this up, didn't I? And yeah, I said and to you, we went, oh, that shouts right, doesn't it? It does. Now, I can't guarantee, can I, it's done 7,000 miles. But I'll tell you what, that has not done 70,000 miles. Because mm. you can just tell that is all in keeping with the car. What a lovely, lovely engine bay. The whole thing sits right, looks right, and more importantly, in here, smells right. The car, that shouts right. If it's not right, it hasn't done many more, I tell you, but we've got no paperwork. I've just been on the, I've just been down to the office and gone online um, and to bring up some MOT history. And there is a fair bit, but it only goes back to about 2010, I think, something like that. Um, so it's a real tricky one isn't it mm. underneath is brilliant absolutely brilliant inside is brilliant it says there the next service is due at 10,900 mile in november 1999 so obviously done less it done less than 10,000 miles in 1999 and armstrong massey you know armstrong massey may even have some records of the car you never know so there's, a, there's, a, there's the, the, the next service sticker. So the next service basically sticker says it's due at 10,000 miles. Obviously there will be a time thing or 1999. And it's never had that as far as I can see. So there's the information there. Take some photographs of that obviously. Um, but I've just spent 10 minutes around the car and we get dozens of these every year. Out of the dozens that we get every year, there might be one that I would consider buying. Um, and obviously this is one of them so this is this year's one but the rubbers the carpets the kicking strips the door cards inside the car that engine bay the boot the underside the arches the door bottoms the air, everything on the car shouts right there's only one thing that's making me think well that's unusual the spare wheel's been on now for 7,000 miles, I would love to have seen, and I've just been underneath there now, a brand new spare wheel, but it's been on, which is a shame. But sometimes these Rolls Royce and Bentley owners can be bloody tight. So they may well have put that wheel on and had a swap around, but anyway, you don't know. Or he may have had more than one Rolls Royce, I don't know, but I I would, that would have done it to me if the spare wheel had been new and unused. But you're gonna have to come down um, and I tell you what, you're going to be a very, very clever man if you can point out a reason for not believing this speedo, speedometer reading, should I say. Because it shouts right. Um, it really does. Oh, it was. I say, it was, it was on the button. Yeah. And judging by his other vehicle, the Range Rover there, and the private number plate. There's a private number plate on the vehicle. Do the checks, guys. We've got nothing to hide. It's EY24. I've just covered it up now to avoid any confusion. So, but EY24 is coming off. Uh, Mr. Young, EY24. Uh, so, yeah. To me, I think um, it's one of those that you buy in a lifetime. You know, you just don't get them, do you? But please come down and have a look and come and find me and we'll discuss it. Uh, uh, and you can point out some bits and, and I'll learn uh, and then I'll point out one or two bits and perhaps you might learn but between the two of us um, I think we're going to struggle to prove or show a reason to disbelieve that myelometer but let's do some own work and see what you do all I do know is irrespective of that, of that, of that 
Marley's reading there, irrespective of that, so forget that. That's the best conditioned example of this model that I've seen forever, really. Um, so forget the reading, that's, um, that's irrelevant. It does want a machine polish, it's obviously had a cover over it. It just want, it wants a damn good machine polish and obviously it's going to want to service over. But the car itself is lovely, really, really nice. And, I would, and I'm not a massive fan of these, but I am a massive fan of proper cars. So take the ladies and gentlemen round it, Jack. Um, just the basics. To be fair, I've only got 20 seconds now. This right. phone only oh, lets well, you have six minutes, to, so really. it speaks for itself, doesn't right. it? Well, come down, find me, we'll have a, a cup of tea in the chat. There you go, guys.